these are my notes on cloning uh, Samsung Evo 840 SSD onto a Evo 850 SSD and the various software applications or utilities I used to achieve this goal. Here's the setup. Basically I had um, this hard disk built into my Compact 6710B as you see in the background here and I wanted to clone it to the uh, 850 EVO 500 gigabyte also by Samsung. Now I managed to do that previously I would say roughly a year ago and then all of a sudden this hard disk gave up or wouldn't read anymore and I needed to re-clone it. The software that I used previously was um, one of these, either Aomai Backup, uh, easiest to do, uh, Samsung's data migration to My first attempt this time round was, as I can't recall how I did it a year ago, my first attempt this time around was to do it from a run live running system using Samsung data migration the source disk, the target disk. So that, mind you the computer was booted with the source disk and um, it during cloning it said it cannot read open files and any open files needed to be closed. So here you see the setup on the right that's the Compact 6 710B and on the left is the uh, 500 gig SSD built into the computer is the 120 gig and it's running the system live. Everything seemed to work fine up until a certain point. The da data migration tool worked and it said the data source disk has been successfully cloned to the bigger Samsung SSD. However when I ran the machine several times it um, didn't boot properly and it didn't start up properly and it behaved in a very strange way. Uh, so I resorted to Eases to do backup this tool and here we see also the cloning process so disk uh, C to disk E, uh, sector by sector copy and things seemed to work fine but then went awry so I went and tried our May backupper standard that didn't work properly so I resorted to uh, CDs, backup CDs by Isis and by Aomai but the only results I got from those are that uh, the system couldn't boot properly. Next I then went and I remember a tool that I had used previously to clone USB sticks, a smaller stick to a bigger stick and a bigger stick to a smaller stick. It's by HED Guru. And this is the setup that I used to successfully clone the system. First of all here you see the ASUS, my Italian ASUS. Uh, it has got the um, SSD, the 120 gig SSD that needs to be cloned, hooked up to the ASUS and the backup file or the, the, the cloning uh, will be done to this uh, USB hard disk. Something I uh, found out is that during this whole cloning process which takes several hours the power sleep settings should be uh, disabled. Um, here we see uh, part of the process, the source file being the 120 gig hard disk and the target being the target being a file, uh, a raw image file that n please note is way smaller than the 120 gig hard disk. So you see it's only 95 gigabytes. The process uh, completed successfully. Here we see um, that it took uh, that it took quite a while to complete, so several hours. 
Now, a word about the HD RAW Copy 2. I'll explain it um, live in a minute. First of all, this is the source. The source being the SSD 120. An image file needs to be uh, created, a RAW image file. And then the RAW image file is stored on the target picked in this process. So here again you see the 840 EVO 120 gig by Samsung. And the end result which quite uh, which works quite well and reliably is this is the starting point which then as a raw disk file is stored onto an external hard disk and then from that external hard disk the mm, on the Italian ACES so mind you not on the system that's running uh, the uh, hard disk later on it's cloned to the uh, 500 gigabyte hard disk as I said earlier on the image is smaller here you see 100 uh, it's supposedly a 120 gigabyte but this is the true size um, we don't see how much is occupied but I know it's roughly 50 or 60 gigabytes and after being cloned to the much bigger hard disk here this image it uh, pretends that it's the 120 gigabytes and even though only 50 or 60 gigabytes were used um, this area is blank there's no data on it and that's a trick I used also to uh, copy things back and forth to cloning uh, USB sticks from bigger to smaller and smaller to bigger because n no matter what you do on a bigger hard, uh, hard disk or USB stick the area um, the information sits at the very beginning the data sits at the very beginning and um, even though it pretends it's a much bigger hard disk 120 gigabytes and the image without being compressed is way smaller or can be interrupted before the cloning process ends uh, let me show you the, the working of the HD raw copy tool so mind you after having used first of all the, the Samsung data migration for consumer SSD uh, it did not work because I presume or I guess that it was because it was on the live system and it could not copy the files that were open properly then I used Eases to do backup then I used our May backupper standard uh, the the running version on the machine plus um, CDs that I created subsequently to boot the the computer with the CDs uh, mostly uh, Linux systems within these uh, cloning utilities by Eases and by Aomai and then I finally resorted to the HDD Guru uh, raw tool now the file here is telling us that the average write speed this was on the USB stick that uh, no on the Italian ASUS uh, you can copy or expect it to copy five minutes per gigabyte this is a developer and the software is quite um, quite powerful so on HDDs um, uh, HDD Guru's website you find the description of what it can do it's quite a versatile software that not only can duplicate flashcards but also uh, hard disks and SSD hard disks are. so here's how it works then um, I've got the same hookup uh, as we saw in the video except that I'm not using my Italian ASUS but since this is just for demonstration purposes I'm using my Compact 6710B so if we start the HDD uh, raw copy tool with on one side the 120 gigabyte SSD hooked up and on the other side the uh, Intenso hard disk that will pick up the image so first of all you need to select the source 
uh, now there you have to be extremely careful because you can easily mess up things so the source being the external 120 gig hard disk uh, SSD continue and then we need to select the target now the target uh, just pretend that I'll put it in the same position as the uh, the real image file sits in now this is then the folder that the real uh, image file sits in and you see it is a raw image if you were to uh, use a compressed image supposedly the file will be bigger but uh, we're not going to do that so I just use the raw image and I'm not going to overwrite or jeopardize this file I'll just say bis so uh, to pretend that that's what we're doing and I say save and then here you see then the um, the target being on the Samsung uh, in this file within uh, the external hard disk and then if you say continue it will give us a warning um, what it's going to do so first of all the source disk being the 120 gig uh, SSD and the target being such and such and then if we say start I think it will give us a no it will start copying right away and this process then takes several hours I'll stop it because there's no point in recreating this image again and that's the end of the recording